<laughs> That'll get you going, right? Uh, we do have a big, big night ahead, of course, when it comes to baseball. More fans will be allowed in the stands. The Padres will be taking on the Dodgers, yeah, their big rival, at 7-10 tonight. Joining us to give his take on tonight's game is a man who has sworn, or I should say has worn both team jerseys. Tony Gwynn Jr. is with us. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing today? Doing great, thank you. So, how do you see tonight's game going down? The Padres, obviously, you know, not off to a bad start. Well, I mean, listen, I, I think the Padres have done pretty well considering the, the type of injuries they've dealt with, including missing Fernando Tatis Jr. But they come into tonight's game uh, off a five and two road trip. Um, Winning, winning yesterday's game, and the Dodgers are coming in the hottest team in baseball. So uh, I expect it to be a, a really close matchup. Both teams have their young guns, Padres with Ryan Weathers, uh, uh, the Dodgers with Walker Bueller, and um, we've been waiting really since January for this, for this matchup, and, and today we finally get to see it. Every time I hear someone say the Dodgers are doing well, I'm like, boo, like that just wants to come out. <laughs> but for you, Tony, <laughs> talk about that. You've worn both teams' jerseys, and I'm assuming it's safe to say you're still rooting for the Padres in this. Yeah, I think that's a pretty safe bet. Uh, okay. For sure, I'm rooting for the Padres. Uh, but uh, listen, I, I think, you know, the Dodgers have been the creme de la creme of the National League West for eight years now. So the Padres, you know, started to make their move last year. They 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 really challenged the, the Dodgers in the series they had. And I know it was a short season, but the Padres ended up facing them again in 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 the division series. And um I, I just think the Padres are really looking forward to this matchup. They wanna it's a measuring stick for them in the 2021 season. They certainly feel like they can compete, but ultimately the game is played on the field. No matter what's on paper, uh, you got to go out and execute for nine innings and, and, and the best team usually wins. Tony, let's talk about the stands as far as the uh, fans that are able to attend. Obviously a smaller capacity, still more than what they saw when they played several months ago. Does that really play into the fact and the energy in players? I mean, when you've been on the field, does it make a difference? Oh, without a doubt, especially coming off a season in which you had cardboard cutouts in the stands, right? So now uh, with the capacity, you know, moving even higher now, I thought the, the, the energy was electric for the, for the opening week series here in San Diego. Uh, tonight, I imagine it's going to be times 10. Mm -hmm. uh, the Dodgers are in town. Everybody in this city has literally been waiting for this matchup. So uh, I expect the Padre fans to bring the Brown and I expect us to show out in, in terms of being able to support our, our, our ball club. Yeah, people definitely go nuts over this uh, rivalry. Uh, you know, it's been uh, years, years in the making. Uh, but also, Tony, let's talk about uh, when it comes to the players. The Dodgers may not have some of their key players today. Uh, Bellinger, Mookie uh, may be out. And then for us, for the Padres, Tatis, do you think he'll actually make it back to play tonight? I think he's got a good chance. Uh, you know, his he is scheduled to come off the, the injured list today. Um, mm -hmm. Does that mean he starts in the lineup or come off the bench? I don't know. But everything we've heard, at least leading up to the day, and everything I've seen, at least him taking batted practice and, and, and being on the field, taking infield, he looks like a guy that's, that's ready to go. Now, I don't know. I haven't talked to anybody, but certainly um, we'll find out when that lineup is. And if he's in that lineup, I think the Padres' chance get get even better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That'll definitely fire up the crowd for sure. Hopefully he will be back tonight. Obviously a big game. Tony, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate Sorry, I have one more question, Tony. Musgrove, we got to talk about Joe Musgrove. Yeah, come on. <laughs> what do you think about the no-hitter? And then, of course, they're going to celebrate extra tonight because of that. Well, um, I thought it was – it's it's one of the best moments in, in San Diego history. Um, I don't know. You can't write a story better than that. Hometown kid from El Cajon, Grossmont High, um, finally gets to play for a team he, he's literally dreamt about playing for his entire life. And 
when our history has nobody's name next to <laughs> no hitter because it's never been done, he gets to put his name in there. And, and honestly, it couldn't happen to a better individual. If anybody who has had a chance to to meet Joe or, and get to know him a little bit knows uh, what kind of what kind of individual he is. And, and to see him be able to uh, add his name to Padre history, baseball history, uh, from that standpoint. Um, it, it was pretty awesome to watch. It was pretty. It was pretty awesome to be a part of that call with Jesse Agler. No, oh, I'm sure. And you give me the chills describing that. I mean, what he must be feeling and going through after that. Thank you very much, Tony. Uh, enjoy being in the press box tonight. No problem. <laughs> Go Padres. Thank you. I, I will. I will. Go Padres. <laughs>